Hi, it's me again. In our previous videos, I was showing you how to run your own CHR, also known as Cloud Hosted Router, uh, installation in your PC in a virtual box software. Um, now, this time, I will concentrate on the word cloud in CHR, because, of course, you can run router or OS even in the cloud. In, in this video, I'll be showing you how to run router OS in the Amazon cloud, in the Amazon Web Services. It's quite easy. You probably already have an Amazon account for purchasing things, for uh, reading your Kindle, or um, for some other things. So if you already have it, go to your browser, and you have to sign in here. Once you have signed in, on the top uh, of the page, you'll see a search bar. So enter Microtik. Here you see Cloud Hosted Router. Open it up, and here you can read some information. And um, what is interesting here is that Amazon is offering a free tier. Uh, the free tier is for micro instances. Here you can see all kinds of instance types. So if you plan to test it out or run it for personal use, micro instance is completely uh, fine for you. And you can use it for up to 750 hours per month for free. Of course, if you plan to use it for some kind of public service, like maybe you would like to run a VPN service in the cloud, it's also possible, but you'll have to pay for that. And there are all kinds of huge virtual machines available from Amazon. Uh, for this test, uh, we'll just try it out. So continue to subscribe. Here you can see some information, continue to configuration. Here you can select the region. I'm in Europe, so I will choose Frankfurt and continue to launch. Here we can uh, select the instance type, like I said, T2 Micro. It offers one gigabyte of RAM and one co virtual core. Here you can select security group. This is uh, mandatory. So if you have previously used uh, Amazon Cloud uh, services, you, you maybe already have some uh, presets here. But uh, in, uh, in your case, it will probably be the default security group. Um, you will have to change these security rules. This is very important because otherwise mm, it's possible that you launch your microtech installation and somebody connects to your installation before you and changes your password or something. So uh, we'll uh, proceed with security settings right after launching. Click on launch. Congratulations, the instance is already running. So we go here to the EC2 console. In the EC2 console, first you'll see pending, so it means that it's starting up. While it's doing that, here click on the instance and we go to the security tab and you can see inbound rules here. Um, click on the security group. In the group, you can actually change these rules. So I just uh, did that already, but I'll show you again. So um, we go to edit inbound rules and these rules are define who is allowed to connect to your system. And what you need to change here is uh, to custom TCP and the port uh, for Winbox or SSH. So we'll be using Winbox in this example. 8291 is the port that Winbox uses. And here you can select which um, subnet, uh, which group of addresses can connect to your virtual machine. So I will leave uh, zero, so this means that anyone can connect. But of course, if you only want yourself to uh, connect um, to this router, you could enter your specific public IP address in here or your subnet or something like that. Here you can enter a description of this rule. Uh, then click on save rules. Yeah, I didn't make any changes because I already had allowed Winbox here. Uh, now let's go back to the security group. We can see this rule here. It's the only rule that is uh, here. So it means that any other uh, ports are closed. If we go to back to the dashboard, we can see running instances one. So it means our instance has already been uh, started. Now you can see it here, it's running. We can click on it again. And here we can see the public IP address of our new virtual machine. So we can just copy that. Uh, then we open up Winbox. 
because we allowed Winbox as the only option. Open it up. Here we can paste the IP address. And now this installation doesn't have any configuration. So uh, the username is admin, there is no password. Click on connect. That's so easy, it already connected. So this is our virtual machine in the cloud. First order of business, go to system users, add a new user. It will have full permissions and a strong password. It's very important that you do it immediately after launching the instance. Click on OK. Now we have the admin user and my new user. Open up a new Winbox and make sure to log in with your new username now. This is to make sure that you didn't make any typos while creating the password. So it, uh, I just logged in, so it means that everything is fine. And now I'm deleting the admin user. Uh, this is uh, the best way to do it because uh, if somebody would to try to guess your password, it will be easier for them if they know your username. And for Microtik is always admin. So the best way to do it is delete that. And so any hacker will have to guess your username as well. But of course, we only allow the Winbox port. And what we can also do is specify any additional security rules here uh, in, in RouterOS itself. But this is up to you. You can also go back to the uh, Amazon and block any kind of uh, um, incoming connections there first. And But of course, you can also go to the IP firewall section and uh, define all your security here. It's So it's up to you how you want to do it. But like I said, this uh, system here is completely empty. There are no configurations. Just make sure you don't leave uh, Winbox open to the world. So uh, go and watch our uh, firewall video where we ex explain how to protect your router. Uh, and um, well, either in the IP firewall or in the security group, uh, close the Winbox port to the world. So I only added that as uh, for sake of example. Okay, that's all. It's very simple. Thank you for watching. Make sure to comment on what other CHR videos you would like to see. And see you next time. Thanks.